This is Pav Bambra here for PSB Sports. I'm at the Derek Shaw vs. Dillian White press conference here in London. As you can see with me, I've got Steve Goodwin. Steve, first of all, my friend, how are you? Very well, thank you. Very well. Sounds great. Firstly, Steve, um, obviously I think everyone was expecting fireworks at the press today. Not quite, didn't quite uh, explode, but obviously in your opinion, how would you assess the press conference today? I think it went as we thought. I mean, Dillian will try and light, light the uh, sparks. And um, Derek is basically just being playing it cool, which is the way he wants to do it because um, at this stage. And uh, I think that's a better way for him to play it. Um, and he'll just, his preparation for this fight is unbelievable. He's fitter, more focused, more motivated, and he knows it's a crossroads fight. You're going to see the, Derek, the best Derek Chisora in there on December the 10th, and Dillian White will have to be better than the best Derek Chisora. I don't think he will be, and I think Derek will win this and then get for a world title sometime in 2017. Also, Steve, initially, how did your um, actual relationship with Derek come about, and also um, how are you finding things with him so far? Because obviously, he's had some pretty big fights so far since come back with you, right? Yeah, well, Frank Bullioni, who's from the same gym, asked me to manage him earlier this year, and Frank's been delighted with what I've been able to achieve for him. I've got him a British title fight immediately. So um, he's obviously been telling Derek how happy he is, and then Derek came to see me um, and asked me to manage him, and I was delighted to do to do that. Um, Derek's been a pleasure to deal with. I haven't had a crossword with him. He's, um, you know, we work together and we work through scenarios. And I think with Derek, as long as you're straight with him, you're honest with him, and you and you, you know, you let him know everything's going on. He's perfect to deal with. Pleasure. Sounds great. And uh, Steve, in general, you know, this fight, you know, obviously Dylan picked up the British title. This is also a WBC eliminator now. So being the, uh, obviously, promoters always look to the future as well. So, you know, a WBC eliminator, world as a champion, is that a route that, that's been planned in your guys' mind? Sure. I mean, Derek's under promotional contract to the Sourlands. Correct. So I'm obviously operating as his manager, but therefore my job is to guide Derek uh, with, alongside the Sourlands with options. And if he wins this, there's no, there's no reason why he cannot compete for a world title next year with the way that the divisions are split up. Derek's got two top 15 rankings, Dylan's got two top 15 rankings. Derek will take those rankings over. There's absolutely no reason why Derek can't fight for a world title next year and that will be the main aim once December the 10th out of Steve, also, you know, you're, you're a busy man these days. I know you're yeah. always doing well at your call. How's everything going with Goodman, Goodman Box and Goodman Promotions? Because it seems to be thriving. It's thriving. I mean, I manage now uh, around 90 boxers. Wow. 90 professional boxers, which is, I've been told, the largest amount in Europe, but I've got a great team. Um, we've got seven current champions. We've got five boxers competing for titles yep. um, at high levels. Um, Absolutely. So it is, it is expanding both on the promotional front, but also on the managerial front. So we cannot be more pleased with the way it's going. Boxers are coming to us in in droves and we're able to give them as good a service and plan their careers and find title opportunities and that's my job. Absolutely Steve and also I was at your, the Wadi Camacho versus Isaac Chamberlain mm -hmm. fight. One of the, I have to say, you know, from a boxing fan as well, one of the best fights I've ever seen, you know, two great warriors going at it. What is the situation with Wadi Camacho at the moment? How is he feeling? Because he, he really fought well in that fight. No he didn't. He was terrible. What he would have picked, he was, I'm being honest, Wadi yeah. did not fight, he, he, he showed a lot of heart, but he didn't yeah. show the right boxing acumen or box as well as he should have. So heart and courage I should yeah, say. But yeah. not, the skill level wasn't where it should be, I'm really honest, sure. and I've discussed that with Wadi afterwards, he's changed trainer now, Okay. but what was important about that fight, and this is my job as a manager, was in the third round, when I when the referee, referee stepped in, when Isaac Chamberlain's shoulder had gone, right. and the fight should have been stopped, the referee decided to hold an inquisition as to how he was and how he was feeling for right. 50 seconds. Okay. That's not correct, and I lodged an immediate appeal with the board, and what has now got an immediate rematch because of that. Oh wow, so, you know, I mean... It's going up to purse speeds as far as I'm aware. I was just about to say, based on how, you know, if, if, is there, it was real, if you, you saw the atmosphere at your call, real fans, forever that fight was. And, and so it's a rematch, again? Can have a rematch. I mean, at the end of the day, Isaac, in my opinion, was, uh, other people thought what he won it. I personally thought Isaac won. So sure. I'm, I'm, again, I'm honest, I'm not going to address anything. I thought Isaac would need the fight. Um, but what he put so much into that third round and was on the verge of stopping him. Yep. Um, and that was a bit, I think he got thrown a bit by that. And I think the issue is that 
in the, in the end, that was not how it should have been. Isaac Chamberlain should have been stopped in that third round, not had an inquisition for 45 seconds as to how he was feeling. And that therefore meant that, in my opinion, there should be a rematch. Immediate, the board agreed that. What he now gets a chance to put things right, and I think the rematch will be even better than the first fight. So you said it's going out to Perspids. When will this Perspids take place? And when do you think a timeline we can see the actual fight taking place? I think it will be 2017 because Isaac's obviously got a shoulder issue. Shoulder, yeah. Uh, that I, I think he's got that as a permanent issue. Um, so I'd imagine it will take place in the first three months of 2017. Sure. And I'm confident we'll see a reversal of the result. Steve Goodwin, I want to say thank you so much for, for your time today. I wish you all the best and keep doing your thing with Goodwin Boxing because it's doing very well, my friend. Thank you very much and thanks for taking time to interview us. Cheers. No problem.